Hello! Welcome to Sprout People. This video is going to show you how to grow bean sprouts in an easy sprout. Today we'll be sprouting San Francisco mix, our most popular bean blend ever. It's a really lovely mix of 13 different legumes. For the easy sprout, all you're going to be using to grow beans are three of the pieces. The solid base, the growing vessel, no small seed insert is necessary, and the domed lid. And when we use the domed lid, it will be upside down because unless we're growing so many beans that they're pushing the domed lid up, in which case, excuse me, we will rest it on the lid. Bean sprouts all grow the same way. There are very few exceptions to this rule. Long, thick, rooted mung beans are the most notable exception. Uh, otherwise, you can follow these instructions to grow any bean sprout in the easy sprout and you'll get great results. With beans, I like to start with three quarters of a cup. You can sprout less, you can sprout up to a cup if you want to fill your sprouter. Put the seeds into the sprouter. I rinse through them to wash off any dust and then I just put the solid, uh, the growing vessel into the solid base. Add water. Two to three times as much water. You can't add too much. The seeds will only soak up what they can. Agitate it a little bit so that all the seeds are getting contact and set it aside for 12 hours. Twelve hours later, our seeds have soaked. I pull out the growing vessel. This water, colorful, full of nutrients, you can use it. Um, our plants are fully saturated. They've been drinking a lot of sprout water. Uh, you can make soup with it as a stock. It's got some nutrients in it, so whatever you want. I'm sorry to say I'm pouring it down the drain. I feel guilty every time I do it, though. So, as with the easy sprout in all crops, it's just a matter of rinsing thoroughly and draining thoroughly. The beans, being bigger seeds, require less work to drain. But here you go. So we're going to repeat this every 12 hours. Try to imagine you are a seed in this easy sprout. You've been sitting in a bath for 12 hours. You want to rinse off. Feel the fresh water showering down on you. Turn off the shower when you feel good and clean. Now I've rinsed them. It's like giving them a bath. You saw the bath water. It was dirty. Right? It's not really dirt, of course. And now we've just rinsed them so they're nice and fresh. We're going to drain them thoroughly. my easy sprout thusly. I spin until I see the spattering on the side of the sink decrease. They're adequately drained. I set them into the solid base in the elevated position and a dome lid on top. They need no light. They don't need to be hidden from the light. 12 hours later, we repeat. So it's once again a matter of rinsing and draining thoroughly.
again into the solid base, fall and sprout, dome lid on, back to the counter for 12 more hours. 12 hours later, your sprouts are quite large. So in fact, if this is the way you like them, and this is the way we like them, that last rinse would have been our last. Only two rinses, and then 12 more hours passing after the rinse, and we'd be done. We would refrigerate these. If you want to go further, we rinse one more time. In any case, this should be your last rinse. Uh, so drain very thoroughly, because what you don't eat right away will go into the refrigerator, and you want that to be as dry as possible. Solid base, raised position, dome lid on. 12 hours later, it's definitely time to be done. These are refrigeratable, they're edible. If you haven't eaten them all already, which is fine if you have, you eat them any time past the point that they're soaked and you've got a nutritionally exceptional product. So put these babies in the refrigerator you can do this by putting your Easy Sprout in its nested position and then snapping on the solid lid. You can also transfer them to a plastic bag or a Peak Fresh bag, which will aid in storage. We actually do last longer in those bags, it's remarkable. But we eat them so fast it makes no difference. In parting, I want to remind you to taste your sprouts throughout the growing process and see where you like them best. That's how long you should grow them. It's all good. Mmm. -mm. Happy sprouting!